Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I have a package that came all the way from Seattle, Washington. This is from Leanne Likes and I discovered her on YouTube quite a few months ago and I fell in love with her style of YouTube videos, her the, the way she talks about her fountain pens and just her overall demeanor demeanor <laughs> so go ahead and please follow her on youtube and into instagram because she is absolutely lovely so she contacted me and asked if i would be interested in doing an ink swap and i said uh yeah uh so <laughs> this just arrived today and i had to immediately go get it from the mailbox because it is currently minus 16 celsius here and i didn't want this to freeze so let's unpack this so first there is this lovely letter with this washi and oh my gosh, I am horrible at not ripping things. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, and she included other things as well. There's a chai spice tea, a hot cinnamon black tea with sweet heat. Ooh. And then Trader Joe's winter wake up tea. Oh, I love that. And then I believe those are the inks. But let's see what else she has included. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Your soul is a deep ocean. Beautiful. Oh, it's, oh, and it's a Baum, Baumkuchen postcard. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I just want to make sure I don't have anything else in there. Okay, and then she sent a little card with washi samples. Does that one have bread on it? It has bread on it. I love that. I might just keep it there. I, I love little washi samples, and I know exactly where I'm going to put these. this card. And then she's included a couple of things here. I've just read her lovely, lovely letter to learn a little bit more about her. So I definitely will be writing back to Leanne. One of the things that I have loved so far about the fountain pen community is the connections that I've made. Just even in the comments and your guys, your guys' replies to my videos, what you like, what you don't like. And I've just made so many connections in the fountain pen community. I'm just so happy with that. And then Leanne also included notes on why she chose the inks she did. I love her printing. I absolutely love her printing. I'm already excited by what she chose. And then she included like these little sticky notes. Or are these washi? I think they're washi. Washi, sticky notes? I'll figure it out. And then, yeah, so let's get to put these away. I love these so, so much. It's like a little Christmas present. So now to the washi, or the ink samples. Oh my God, that, if I can, oh, I can save it. That is gonna go straight into my Hobonichi cousin. So let's move that into, what's the date today? Today's the Thursday. I'm gonna just put that straight in here and then what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take a photo of everything that Leanne has sent me and then place that there so yay okay so let's get ready for ink sampling let's go ahead and open these it looks like they survived no leaking which is always a concern of mine when sending ink so i actually have a quick tip for the inks to be sent if you're gonna buy you can buy these ink file samples from amazon and what i actually have is i have some silicone grease that came with my twisby eco fountain pen or you can buy a silicone grease from any retailer like pen chalet or goulet pens and you can actually put silicone grease around the threads and that will definitely help keep the ink in there you go. All right, so first is Diamine Holly. And I am so excited for this. I've been wanting to try this forever. And I've also seen Leanne swatch that Opera Rose. She has such an amazing selection of inks and she has such great taste. Such great taste. Ooh, an Earl Grey tea. All right, so let's get these out of the way. And what I'll be using to swatch today is my Hobonichi A6 uh, notebook. I will also be doing swatches on Rhodia paper and I will be using my paintbrush, glass dip pen, and of course you need a jar of water. All right, let's get started. The first one I am going to swatch is a Diamine Holly and 
I'm gonna shake it up, but I don't think there's actually any shimmer in there. Ooh, I'm already liking the green. But basically Leanne said in her letter that she didn't even want to use this because she thought Christmas colors should only be used at Christmas. And then she inked it up and was very pleasantly surprised with what came out, so. Oh, that is a very Christmassy green. So I do a swatch in my Tamo River paper, my notebook, but I also do a swatch on Rhodia paper and I keep this like a catalog. Look at that. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And it's already made the water in my jar a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So, so this is Dimine Holly. And I got some on my finger already. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and I smudged it too. I wonder if that's gonna be an indication of the way the rest of this ink swatch is gonna go. Oh, I love it already. It's like a dark forest green, and I wonder if it's gonna have any sheening to it. This does feel like a very Christmassy color but I wouldn't even say it's just for Christmas. I would say this is a winter color. Like I would use this towards the end of fall, beginning of winter, really, really pretty. Why is this all the way out there? Look at that. You can already see some of the sheening. Absolutely gorgeous. The next one we have is Colorverse Brunch Date. And this is one that I have seen so many people use and I was so tempted to buy it, but I didn't wanna buy a whole bottle. I'm on this, I have a rule that, oh wow. I'm really sticking to samples right now before I go ahead and purchase a full bottle because I'm already out of room in my ink drawer, my ink bottle drawer. Beautiful. I'm imagining that's gonna shade absolutely beautifully. So I'm gonna put some here on my glass dip pen without hopefully getting on any on me. Colorverse brunch date. And this one reminds me of Rui Donk. Purple on Rui Donk, uh, Colorverse but I've seen this, I forget who it was, I think it was Anya Journals on Instagram who compared, ah, uh, no, <laughs> color, I'm just gonna write color verse again, and it is Sunday, brunch date, oh my gosh, brunch date, Ooh, I can't even spell brunch date, brunch date, <laughs> Wow, but uh, it was Anya Journals who compared the two and they look so different when you have them on paper, but when you see swatches, oh, Lucy's outside the door whining. When you see swatches online, they look the same, but they are actually quite different. Love the shading in that already. The next one we have here is Teranishi Opera Rose. Leanne had swatched this uh, a little while ago and I was absolutely in love with it. So let's take a little bit for my notebook. Ooh, oh, and you can see how similar it is, but still different to Colorverse Brunch Date. Why did I want to call it Sunday Brunch? Oh goodness. Look at that. That is gonna shade so beautifully. Putting some on my glass dip pen. And that is Taranishi Opera Rose. Gorgeous. I love doing these little flowers. I say abstract flowers, but it's a way to see the shading, but also how well it writes with the glass dip pen. And then the little swirlies, a heart, a diamond, 
and then just um, straight up and down and then side to side. And then on the rhodia paper, just writing the name and upper rose. So I have a bit or uh, um, a swatch on rhodia paper for every ink that I've ever tried, and I keep them all on a binder clip. So they're all on a binder clip like this. Some of these samples or some of these inks I no longer have, but I keep all of them just to know what I've tried. And that's why I do it on the rhodia paper. But you can see that there is definitely a difference between what happens on the rhodia paper versus the Tamo River paper. For me, it's interesting to really, really look at both, but oh, I love that. Oh, I can't decide between the two. The next ink is Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. And I feel like I've seen this before. If not on Leanne's channel, then definitely someone else's. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. I think I've tried one other dominant uh, industry color. And it was, I think, where was it from? It was uh, a collaboration. An exclusive with wonder pens look at that it's like um how do i describe that orange because it's a burnt orange there we go i feel like it looks more like a burnt orange or maybe a persimmon dominant industry earl gray tea Beautiful. And I mean, the shading on these inks cannot be beat so far. Dominant industry. It's gonna be a big flower. <laughs> I find swatching inks so relaxing, except for when I get the ink on my fingers, but then after a while you're like, it's part of the hobby. You don't have ink on your fingers. Have you been swatching inks? So, I also love watching ink swatching videos. So I love doing them myself, but I also love watching them because everybody who I watch has a different style of the way they do it. And it's just relaxing to watch. And then let's get this one out of the way. And then the last one, that Leanne has sent is Tatya Sabimi Dori. Am I saying that right? Oh goodness. Oh, looks like a dark teal turquoise. Teal turquoise. I can't. I have to go back to Leanne's video because she was the one who was, uh, she defined the difference really between teal and turquoise and I keep forgetting. It almost reminds me of Sukio just from looking at it. Oh, it totally reminds me of Pilot Hiroshizuku Sukio. Yes, love this. Beautiful color. I'm gonna add a second layer to this here because I think it's going to shade magnificently. Then with my glass dip pen, put that to the side because if I knock that one over, crazy. So Tatcha, and actually I think this is my first Tatcha ink. Sabimi Dory. Actually, no, that's a lie. I think I had a sample from a little while ago. Sabimi Dory. <laughs> so Tatcha. Sabimi Dory. There we go. And then look at the shading already on them. This is the thing I love about fountain pen inks and why I love using fountain pens is because the way that the ink shades, especially on different types of paper, really enhances the whole writing experience. 
like look at the inks and look at how they differ between the two papers. Look at the difference between the Rhodia paper and the Tomoe River paper. I feel like on the Rhodia paper, it looks more green and the Tomoe River paper, it looks more blue, but there is a little bit of the sheening. You can already see pooling on the edges there. Gorgeous gorgeous color. So I'll let these dry and then I will do a close up of these. Now that the inks have dried a little bit, you can see as I close up here on Diamine Holly, look at that sheen. It reminds me of Organic Studio Walden Pond, but not as teal. Very, very strong sheen in here. And then in the Colorverse brunch date, which I was going to label as Sunday brunch, I really love the dusty brown, almost verging on pink here. One of my favorite shades of fountain pen inks. And then down to Taranishi Opera Rose. I feel like there's almost like a tiny hint of like mauve there with the brown. So yes, you can tell there is a difference between those two. This one, like if you really look closely, there's a tiny bit of mauve in there. I really like that. And then going into Dominant Industry. Oh my gosh, I didn't even write down that it was Earl Grey Tea. I'm gonna have to do that. And really pretty orange shading. Really, really pretty orange shading. And then lastly, Tatcha Sabimi Dori. Reminds me of Pilot Hiroshizuku Sukio. And even in the shading and the sheening, absolutely gorgeous. So once again, thank you so much to Leanne for sending these inks and for sending the lovely letter and the tea. I just, again, have to reiterate how much I love the fountain pen community, the friendships that I've made, the pen pals that I hope to have in the future and to continue doing this with. And that's also a great way of trying inks without necessarily having to buy a bottle. My resolution or my rule for myself in 2023 when it comes to inks is that I will not buy a bottle unless I've finished the sample first. So I have to love it enough that I finish the sample and then maybe consider buying a bottle or buying another four mil sample because four mils can go a really long way. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love doing these ink swatch videos. They are my absolute favorite and I love hearing what you guys think of the inks down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.